Now let us begin to iron our felonian. Do not be confused as some may that I will be using a professional iron in the process. I can assure you that I ironed my first felonian with a regular iron on a village bench covered with a blanket and a clean sheet. I did it out of necessity, so do not be discouraged. Motivation is the main thing. You can do the job with a professional iron or on a simple ironing board with a regular iron with or without steam. If you are ironing with a regular iron, even the one without steam will do. It is best to do it through a piece of gauze, so that you will not scorch the fabric through, especially if you know that your iron has done it before. But if your iron has a no-burn sole plate, you can safely go ahead if you set the correct temperature. Two for silk or synthetics and three for cotton and flax. It is also important to have a container where to put the threads with which we had marked the stains on the felonian before we washed it. Also have a pair of scissors at hand. Now where do we start? I always begin with the underside. If the petrachelion is well made, this should be quite straightforward. Just go ahead and enjoy. However, if the line intends to stretch, making it difficult to flatten it out, I would go about by moving the excess fabric to the sides with my iron. To not be avoided, it is best to move them over here. A fold will form and remain in this location, but it will not be too visible and not in the way. As you see, I'm starting from below. And I'm working my way up from the middle to the sides. I'm having no difficulty with that, thankfully. All garments with linings should be ironed on both sides. I always begin with the underside. Sometimes there may also be some folds gathering over here. To flatten them out, do not work in this direction, but in a different one, towards the corners. That way you can do the best job flattering it out. Any folds or creases will make it uncomfortable for the priest to wear later on. Now the outside. Do not forget to take out the threads before you continue. With the outside we follow the same principle. Work from the middle and move any folds to the sides. Now, here is a tiny stain. It is from the wax. We have spotted it only now. That means we had not noticed the stain in time on the lining. Sadly, it has shown up. You can deal with the stain now if you have time. Rinse it with water, then rub it with a very soaked sponge and laundry soap. It will come off. Be sure to iron out the top of the epitrachelion well. If you leave any creases there, they will rub the priest's neck. Here is the way to place an epitrachelion on a henna. Fold it in the middle. Over to the cuffs or epimenikia. On the surface they seem easy to iron, but remember, iron from the underside working from the middle to the sides. That way the folds will move to the sides. Do not forget to iron from the outside too. If you leave the cuffs aside at this point and do nothing else, they will remain like tubes around the priest's hands. Instead, we need to flatten them, fold and iron on the sides. Then do the top. We are done with this one now. To lace the cuffs, walk your way down, as you do with boots. Do not tighten the laces hard, leave a medium tightness. When finished, fold up the loops one to the other and tie them up like this. 
Немножко сюда. И все. Now we proceed with the zone belt. Iron the laces first. Прохожу по ним сразу. If you use a regular iron or a simple steam iron, it is best to iron the ribbons through a wet gauze to minimize crumpling. Now the underside. The principle is the same, from the middle to the sides. If you come across any wrinkles and cannot flatten them out, spray them with water and continue. Place it on a henna at the center by tying the ribbon into a loose knot. Вот я не по центру, а где-то вот так вот, где-то, да, чтобы лучше на крестик. А здесь чисто символически вот так вот, вот так вот ее рисовываю. Over the nabedenik and palitza. I also begin here with the ribbons that we had rinsed in these parts. As you iron, pay attention to the areas where the ribbons are attached to the galoon trim, so that you will not leave behind any crumpled spots. Iron the palitza from both sides back and front. Here is another thing. Remember to iron out the fringes as you would do with the analogian and holy table covers. That will make it look neat and beautiful, like new. Do not hang the palitza on the iron hook of the hanger, where it will be prone to gather dirt. Hang it on the shoulders, like you would in a person. Walk on the nabedenik in the same manner. Again, it is best to start from the underside and work from the middle to the edges. Finish with the front side. Place on a henna in the same way as the palitza. Now we have only the felonian left to iron. Ironing the body of the felonian takes about 30-35 minutes. Together with the other parts of the common, process should last about one hour. Turn the felonian inside out. Do it as quickly as possible, not to give it time to wrinkle more than it should. Then place the garment on the ironing board. First I will iron the underside of the cuffs. I only do the hard part with the woven I only do the hard part with the woven interfacing and stop there. Slowly rotate the felonian as you proceed. Walk from the top, moving all these folds downwards. Walk thoroughly on the crease at the juncture of two fabrics. We can now finish the collar. Then I take this part of the felonian, where the galloon merge into an angle. Here is one galloon, and here is the second and the third. And below it is the hard part with the woven interfacing. We should do this part separately first. It bends under the fold, as you see. You may leave multiple creases if you are not careful. We try not to make too many wrinkles around here. I simply stretch the lining upwards and do the lower part. Remember, it is only the lining, so you do not have aim for perfection, although you will need to put some work into it. If you come across any threads, make sure you cut them at this stage. You will not be able to spot them later, but others will. They always tend to appear in the most visible locations. We are now working on the body of the Philonian. There is not a third galloon here, so let us divide the surface into two parts. Now we have worked around the corner and are proceeding along the second galloon. We have to use our hands occasionally to prevent unnecessary folds from forming.
Do not forget to level out the lower end of the fabric while gently pulling the upper end towards the middle. We have yet to complete the main body of the Philonian. If the vestment is for a tall priest, divide the area into three parts. If the garment is for a priest of low-medium height, divide it into two parts. We iron the main area of the Philonian, dividing it into two parts, from hard collar to the galloon. We go about it in the same manner, by rotating the Philonian on the ironing board. This is my favorite stage because it is so fast. This side is already done. Move the excess lining to the sides and work little by little towards the center. We have now completed the main body and we have the small second part left to finish. We have finished the underside. Now we need to turn it back on the right side. Again, we try to do it quickly so that it will not crease. Now iron outside in the same manner. This time the result of the ironing should look so much better. As before, go around the top. That is the part with the woven interfacing. Don't forget to do the galloon. Walk carefully around the cross, approaching it from the sides. Go in a circle like this. While ironing around the hardened collar, be sure to do the bend along the sleeves. If you forget, the sleeves around the wearer's shoulders will look like semicircular wheels. As we iron this area, we give it the right shape, so that the garment will look well on the priest. Carefully fold the part horizontally and iron thoroughly. One more thing. If you notice any bumps on the front side around the collar, it is best to go back to iron it from the underside, alternatively pull it over the ironing board. Never attempt to iron the embroidery without hanging the back side of the Philonian over the ironing board. That will leave a print on the fabric, making the garment look unsightly. Now back to the main body of the garment. Iron it out the same way as you did the lining. Go along the full length of the edges. This part takes a lot more effort because the edges usually move back and forth and give us a hard time. To ensure that the lining does not crease, keep stretching it out to keep the fabric smooth. This is one of the main difficult stages. That leaves us with the middle part of the Philonian. Again, divide it into two parts and walk in the same manner as the lining. Before you iron the main part, you first need to smooth it out. We are almost finished. Try to put a piece of your heart and soul in the process. That will not simply keep your garments washed and ironed. Everyone will get to feel your kindness and care for Christ's garments. The Philonian represents the grace of God that covers the priest as he performs a sacrament. In truth, we have just ironed it out. Keep your garments in a case so that you will not have to wash it often. The shape of the case should be like this, fairly wide on the sides and a zip lock along the length in the middle. 
Здесь достаточно непросторные по бокам. Посередине идет замочек сверху донизу. These white squares along the sides enable you to see the color of the garment inside. It is easy to use. Hold the hook, spread the case over and zip. We are done. Our felonian is fully ironed. Thank you for your attention.